Hi, welcome back. I'm Lorenzo and today I just wanted to go through my fall shopping wish list. I talked about fall trends um, already and kind of my thoughts on them and honestly I wasn't super excited about a lot of them. Some were intriguing but for the most part it just seemed like the same old same old. Nothing really seemed super new. So I thought I'd share the things I'm actually excited about and what I'm looking forward to maybe adding to my wardrobe this fall. A lot of these items have been on my list for years and it's just a matter of finding the right one at the right price. So to start, number one, a leather jacket. I have been searching for a leather jacket for years. I have had a couple along the way that were not perfect but kind of suited me for a little bit. But I currently don't have a leather jacket and what I'd be looking for, okay, there's like two different scenarios. There's the cropped, straight, zip up, the middle leather jacket, cute little collar, slim fitting, but not too slim fitting. Like maybe a lit, just a touch oversized so you can still move around. That is an option and I haven't been able to find that for many years. So we'll see. The other option is kind of a longer line blazer style and that I think I'd have a lot more success finding. I'd probably want that to be a little bit oversized but again I don't want to get too oversized because I think that is a trend that is slowly fading away. Just oversized enough to still have a shape but be able to move around pretty easily. And I've always thought I'd get them in black, but I'm kind of warming up to browns or even like maybe a color, like a burgundy oxblood kind of color. So we'll see. I'm not looking to put down a ton of money. This is more if I happen to find it thrifting. And I'd really like to have kind of like the perfect piece because I, this is something I see myself having for years and years and years. So... That's why I haven't had one yet, just because I haven't found the perfect one. Next up, another wardrobe staple is a classic wool blazer. And I do want this one in black just because I just want that classic color. I have a black blazer that I absolutely love, but it's 100% polyester, so it's just not my favorite. The quality of it is nice. It's like a vintage blazer, but... I would love it a lot more if it was made of like thin wool material, like suiting material, I guess. So it's thin, but it's still wool, so it's warm. It would just be a lot more versatile for me. Yeah, if I could just find exactly the blazer that I already have in wool, that'd be ideal. And I see them a lot at the thrift store, so I do think it's very promising that I find one. It's just finding the right color, which is black, somehow that's hard but also the right fit and size. So I have faith I can find it, but you know, I'll have to really look for it. Then I have a maxi wool coat, which I've had on my list for a couple years now. I really want the oversized wrap style. So it's essentially just a giant robe made of wool that you can go outside in. That's, that's what I'm looking for. I wanna be completely enveloped in a wonderful wool coat. I want it to be thick. I don't want it to be too heavy though because I still want to be able to layer underneath it, but I do want it to be able to function for me as a fall and winter coat. So it needs to have a little bit of heft to it. Again, I found pieces in the past that were almost there, but um, don't currently have one and on the lookout. I think I would want it in a gray color because that's more of a neutral that looks good on me. Again, this is a piece that I want pretty much to keep forever, so I don't want to settle, um, but I also don't have a thick wallet, so thrifting is going to be my friend. We'll see what we can find this year. I'm, I'm hoping we can, we can get it done. If I end up finding the right piece new, say at like just a normal retailer, I might buy it because it has been on my list for a long time. It would just have to be the perfect piece, so... We'll, we'll see. This is a newer one that I've been interested in and it's just an oversized boxy cashmere cardigan. I'm not up on my cardigan game, don't have a ton of options. So 
I just want a cozy one that I can wear over dresses. It can kind of work as a like a soft jacket. I think a cardigan is really versatile, but I think an oversized cardigan is going to be the most versatile in my wardrobe. And I want it to be cashmere because cashmere is just all I want to wear on a cold day. It's the most wonderful fabric, I think, that and silk. I'm just like, yes, bury me in this. But I also am open to a cashmere wool blend. I almost prefer that. Uh, if I could find like a 50-50, that'd be fantastic because I like the strength of wool. It just feels a little bit more durable, but I want the softness and lightness of cashmere. So we'll see, we'll see. I, this is a piece I think I might have to buy new because I just don't think I would ever find that at the thrift store. Maybe at a boutique, but even still, the boxy shape that I'm looking for is more modern. Um, so I just don't, I don't, I don't picture myself, wow, I got Southern there, that was crazy. I don't picture myself finding it uh, at a thrift store. Who would give that away, you know? It's it's modern, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. So yeah, that one might have to be a new piece. Next, I'm interested in some sheer silk tops. I know this is a trend, but I think they're really versatile in the sense of transforming an outfit in different ways. Because they're sheer, they can layer really nicely. Um, but the key is I want it to be silk because I just prefer that fabric. A lot of sheer items are often in like a polyester or nylon and I just hate those fabrics. I'm a sweater and those make me sweat and I hate that. I do have faith that I could find these at the thrift store. I find silk pretty often um, and I've been finding more and more silk with like a sheer layer on top of a solid layer. So if I just cut the solid layer out, then I could have that sheer silk top. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. And I, I would love if I could find a, like a black turtleneck or like a long sleeve. That'd be nice. But I'm also open to color, especially like colorful camisoles or like tank tops. Like I think that would be cool layering with like long sleeves underneath. Then moving on to dresses. I've had a long sleeve, like kind of maxi loose almost like prairie-esque dress on my list for years probably at least five years it's kind of got that boho hippie aesthetic but i want it in a more sophisticated fabric less less of the boho and more of the kind of not austere but polished like a solid ruby red would be nice or just like a dark floral I think would be good with like plum maybe and maybe a touch of brown. But I want it to be maxi because I want to just wear long boots underneath. I want it to be something that I can easily wear in colder temperatures with like a coat over the top. But I can also wear leggings and a long sleeve underneath it. I, I want to be able to layer with it. And I just want that swooshy ruffle skirt. I find it very hard to dress femininely in the fall and winter times because I'm just so cold that I just put pants and a sweater on. So I think a maxi ruffly dress is really gonna help me unlock that feminine vibe that I like in the colder months. Then we have a trend item. Um, I would love a silk or wool circle skirt. I've found like half circle skirts in wool that were vintage before. But I want the volume of a full circle skirt. I just think it would be really fun to layer with. Again, similar to the maxi dress. I want to put some long boots on underneath. Leggings, tights. It, it just seems like an exciting volume and shape that I haven't worn for many years. And it's intriguing to me. I think it can be fun. I just like the drama, you know? I like the drama and I'm really into the dramatic feminine shapes right now. Especially paired with like traditionally masculine shapes like a button up like this or, you know, a blazer. I, th I just like that right now. So we'll see. I might be able to find that at a thrift store, but I also might have to just get that new, especially because it's like a trend item right now. Then for jeans, I have been wanting like a pair of wide leg jeans but I'm thinking I guess I'm thinking more of like a trouser jean because I want it to just like skim my hips I want it to be cinched at the waist high-waisted 
skimming my hips all the way down to my feet. And I want it to have a slight flare so that it doesn't like crumple and come in at my ankle like a lot of other jeans and pants do. So it's a very specific look. <laughs> And I can't have it too wide because it's just going to get drenched in rain and mud. But um, I do want it to be full length. I found some that were cropped at the ankle and I just, that's, it's just not flattering on me. So I'm looking for a trouser jean that's comfortable and that fits perfectly. It's a big ask. I don't, I don't imagine I will find what I'm looking for. And if I do, I'll probably have to bring the waist in to make it fit. But you know what? This is a wish list, so I'm gonna dream big. Trouser jeans, I want them. I think it's a little bit more of a sophisticated shape when compared to like the loose jean trend, which is much more relaxed. And I like that. I'd be into some loose jeans. I could probably just pick up some men's jeans and then belt them and have it be kind of that grungy look. But a trouser jean is something I think I would use a lot more and probably keep for more years to come. Cause I already know I love trousers, so. Yeah, trouser jean. Moving into shoes, I am still intrigued by clogs. I just, okay. I have particular feet that require structure in shoes. I need them to be high quality, have some arch support, have enough width in the toes that I'm not getting blisters all the time. So Birkenstocks are really appealing to me. I have a pair of Birkenstock sandals that I wear in the summer. I love them. They're beautiful. Perfect. So the Birkenstock clog trend I was really into, but I also was like, oh, that's expensive. And pretty much, yeah, it, it was expensive. So I didn't know if I loved the trend yet. But going to fall, the idea of just wearing beautiful clogs that have awesome arch support and I can just wear like chunky socks with and then jeans or trousers. It's just sounding really appealing. So yeah, I think I'll probably have to buy those new. I had some in my cart at Nordstrom, but then they sold out. But also I'm wondering if some people are like, oh, I'm done with that trend, so I'm gonna sell them. So I might be able to get some like pretty new ones that are secondhand, that'd be great. It's just a practical, comfortable shoe that I think would be a helpful addition to my wardrobe so I'm not just wearing like boots all the time. The other shoe that I'd really like to add, I mean there's multiple, but the one I'm thinking of right now is just the ballet flat. Another really trendy item, but I have always loved ballet flats, particularly the kind of almond toe, the ones that are very very similar to ballet slippers like I love the ballet look again I need them to be leather <laughs> and I like that soft supple leather that's what I would really like I want it to form to my foot and be kind of like I'm wearing a sock this one again is a big ask to find secondhand um, usually I don't have luck with this kind of thing it's hard to find shoes secondhand so I might have to pick some up new. The brand of shoe that I like uh, has some ballet slippers that I'm interested in. Just haven't pulled the trigger. Don't know what color I'd get. Black is obvious, but I'd also be interested in a white. I just don't know how practical a white ballet slipper is in the fall time. So we'll see what we can find. I'd also like to maybe find a pair that's at the thrift store that might be not exactly what I'm looking for, but but like just to get a proof of concept so I know that it would go with things in my wardrobe and I'd like it before I actually like, you know, put money down for a nice new pair that would suit me. So yeah, we'll see. I have hope. Since they're so popular, I feel like I could find some, but you never know. Now for accessories, I have had a beret on my list for a couple years now. I just like the way they look. I would want mine in like a heavier wool material um, and it to have like a little bit more structure than like a floppy one. But again, I'd probably even go for a floppy like knit one too if it's the right shape. I just like them. I've always wanted one. So it's kind of like fulfilling a childhood like fashion desire, I guess. But this one I definitely think I can thrift. Um, I definitely want to want, just like anything, I'd want to wash it. Um, but I've found berets in the past. They were just were a little too small. So finding one that would fit me is the key. A navy one, a dark gray, I'm like medium gray. 
I don't know if I'd go for like a bright color, but honestly, I've been really into red right now. So if I found a ruby beret, it's kind of cliche, but I, I would probably have to pick that up and just have fun, you know? Why not just have fun with a ruby beret? The other accessory I have on my list is a wool blanket scarf, another trend item, but I'm specifically interested in this one because in 2016, I specifically remember it's 2016 because that's when I did my study abroad, but everyone had blanket scarves. I picked up a blanket scarf. I loved it. I wore it all the time. It was a really crappy one from H&M, but even still, it was just so nice to like wrap a whole blanket around my top and it was just so comfortable. So I already know I like wrap scarves and blanket scarves, so it just makes sense to add one again this year. I think I could thrift one if I got lucky, um, but I could also thrift like a blanket and if it's the right dimensions, like a baby blanket or a throw blanket, I could probably use it as a scarf. Especially if it was a wool one, they tend to be a little bit thinner, so easier to drape. So I'm going to be looking for blankets to wear outside. And then the last item is kind of general. I just generally want gemstones. Like, give me some teardrop ruby earrings. Give me an uh, emerald, like, tennis bracelet. These kinds of things that are just, like, so outrageously opulent in my mind. I'm into them. I love them. I want to be draped in gemstones, but that's a pricey thing. And I also don't think I would find it at the thrift store, like at all. I could find it on eBay or there's another like resale site that has um, really beautiful jewelry that my friend uses. So I might be able to find it there, but just that's more of a, like a aspiration. I don't know that I'll actually find any of that, but I, I'll keep my eyes open. And if I find some beautiful sterling silver mixed with emerald, ruby, sapphire, amethyst, pretty much all of the gemstones. I'd have to pick it up, you know? All right, that was all that was on my fall wish list. Uh, it's, you know, not a short list, but it's also not crazy. A lot of the things, again, were things that have been on my list for years, and so it's just like a reoccurring thing until I can find the perfect one. Let me know what's on your fall wish list or if you even make a fall wish list. I'm always interested in how people formulate like their wardrobes and how they buy things. It's just interesting to me. And if you have any suggestions on where I could find things on my wish list, I am very open to those. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I make videos every week about fashion, thrifting, you know, sometimes I'll throw some travel in there too. So if you're into that kind of thing, maybe uh, try sticking around. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you next week with another video. Just.